Hello everybody, this is Stringing in here for another episode of Dinosaur King Awaken Mode. And it's part three of our sort of spectre gauntlet thing. We did part one and part two with Geigers and Amptus respectively. And now we're on to part three, so I'm sure you can guess what dinosaur I'm going to use. What you can't guess is the second dinosaur I'm going to use. Well, you kind of can guess it because it's going to be in the thumbnail, so... Yeah. Alright, skip! And yes, we got Brontokins, of course, because we always have Brontokins, because there's nothing other than Brontokins. Now, I fancy my chances here, because, obviously, I'm going to have the type advantage. Because I'm using lightning dinosaurs. So this is the one that I should win. Doesn't mean I will win, but it's one I should win. We've seen Spectral Lancer, we've seen Spectral Stinger. Hopefully, we'll get off some Spectral Punisher. Let's see what this Eoraptor up becomes. Oh, Strachosaurus. Interesting. You're up to turn ya. So we got to watch out for the Plasma Anchor. Thunder Driver and a bit of Lightning Strike. Okay, now for my team. And yes, you all know I'm going to use it. It's the ultimate waifu of Dinosaur King. And Maximus. Oh, he's got like a seam on his forehead there. It's not very good, is it? One thing I do notice about Maximus is that if you take away the orange, it is actually just the same skin pattern as the normal Triceratops. Interesting, isn't it? And yes, we have the uh, dinosaur that doesn't exist anymore. Well, it doesn't exist, but it does exist. The Diceratops, Super Diceratops. But it's obviously now known today as Nidoceratops. It's interesting. You know what I find interesting about the horn dinosaurs is that you see it in animals today, with like deers and that, with the with like the horns and well the antlers and that are malformed. You would have to suspect that that would be the case with with these horn dinosaurs as well. That some of them would be malformed. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like Taurosaurus being the best example, people thinking it's just a malformed Triceratops, and then this guy. Thinks it's just a tri people think it's just a triceratops without the nose horn. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. Like obviously these things were getting to skirmishes with like tyrannosaurs, like a T-Rex or something. And you would think with the bite power of a T-Rex, it, it could bite off a horn of one of these dinosaurs. I find it really fascinating. Of course, we'll never truly know if these dinosaurs existed. Like in the sense that. Taurosaurus, obviously, you know, the Diceratops stuff, Nidoceratops, stuff like that. You know, it's kind of like the debate with Sejuanosaurus being dubious now. Oh, that's quick. That was a bit too quick. Caught me off guard. Um, okay, we'll give uh, Diceratops, Nidoceratops, some time in the spotlight. Oh, sorry, I'll call it Diceratops, because it is called Diceratops in this game. Hmm. Oh, look at that! Look at the Brontokins is healed up already. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wow, I did loads of damage! I honestly didn't expect him to swap out so early. Like, that crit must have done loads of damage. Alright, here we go, the Awaken board. Um, I don't know why I used it now, but... Oh, that's good. He didn't get the plasma anchor. Uh, let's go with scissors. Wait, does he not have plasma anchor or something? Oh, no, that's not good. But we'll survive. paper and he's going to use scissors. Oh no he's not, he's just going to go rock. <laughs> it, it throws me off when the dinosaur doesn't act strange, because when they act strange that means they know your attack pattern and like you know, they, they'll know you do this so you got to do that. But when they do nothing it's like, whoa, what do you do? It's like, completely throws me off. Oh, it's not good, but you know, it served its purpose Diceratops. I'll fodder it off. Okay, that symbol there is for rock, this one there. So I'm gonna go paper. Oh, it was right. I mean, I can't read Jack. Oh, hang on, we got spectral armor. Hang on, time to enter the courts. Jack, come 
All right, Maximus, time to get your armor on. Wow, this has been... I actually just looked how long I've been recording. It's only been five minutes. It's been a really quick video. Um... Oh, that's not good. But actually, this could be interesting now because... Oh, he won't get his spectral armor. Um... He knows I'm going to beat this. So I'm going to go... Wait, what? Interesting. Okay, well... <laughs> I kind of got our, we kind of got our wish. It's spectral armor on spectral armor. Honestly, even though I have the type advantage and stuff, I don't even think spectral punisher is going to be enough to kill it. Right, he went scissors. Oh, good. <laughs> he did the random thing, good. Go on, Maximus, get your game on. Boosh. Ooh, things got a bit hairy, but I'm hoping this will be lethal. Wow. Wow. I, I mean, I said it, didn't I? I said it wouldn't be lethal. I said, that, okay, yeah, but Brontekins will survive this. Wow. <laughs> Maximus didn't survive that. Wow. That's all I have to say is wow. Unbelievable. What a crazy ending that was. Well, at least we got the Spectral Stinger off on Brontekins, but it just wasn't enough to kill it. Right. Well, yeah, I was going to end this session. <laughs> kind of a disappointing end. I really thought the spect Well, I didn't think the Spectral Stinger would kill him, but I thought it would be close. I thought it would kill him. I was only joking. I didn't mean it. But yeah, that's going to end the session. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do all that beautiful stuff. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.